Hey Pike folks, this is a quick video to address the changes for the new version release of Job Briefing 1.2. Um, this is not going to be the entire app, I'm just going to cover the changes, the major changes that you'll see. If you need to refer to the entire navigation of the app, we still have the longer video out there that covers the entire app. So before we dive in, uh, you will know if you're running the latest version uh, quickly, if you see this, this scroller that we've added to the bottom of your crew list screen. Uh, this scroller is fed directly from the store map, and so we can display storm alerts and other necessary information that we need to get to you. If you're not running this scroller, then your job briefing needs to be updated. First things first, we added an auto save feature. So that says that as you bounce back and forth between these topics, it, the app's going to go ahead and save what you've done so far without you having to do anything. Next you'll notice that we have added the classification. So when you're adding your guys in here you should see their classification, their current classification. Um, this actually carries over as well to the confirmation. If I go to the confirmation tab uh, you'll see that the classifications uh, are underneath each employee. Let me also quickly mention that we've added the ability to just do a one-man crew. I know that that's kind of few and far between, uh, that we need that functionality in there, but um, we've, we've seen it enough, uh, we heard you, and we did build this in uh, as well. So now you can do just a one-man crew. Moving on, uh, we have added more of the speech-to-text microphones that you see scattered throughout the, the app. Uh, so as you're moving, uh, say, from the header to the job hazard analysis sections, and really throughout the entire app, we've added these wherever we could uh, to try to make it easier for you. So this is kind of cool. Uh, we've added a minimum approach distance reference table. So if you're in your header and you go to the minimum approach distance and you touch on the blue eye, you're going to get a table that pops up there. Just hit your blue close button when you want to get rid of that table and go back to your header. So again, guys, in hopes to save you some time, uh, one of the things that we've added is an autofill for the nearest medical facility and physical address. So this is all based on your geo coordinates. So once you um, touch your get button in the geo coordinates, it's going to grab the latitude longitude of where you're at, and it's going to go ahead and grab the nearest uh, medical facility for you. Uh, one last thing you have to fill out. Next we're going to head over to the discussion topic guide and when I do that you'll see that we've added a mechanical jumper plan. After I select the mechanical jumper plan when I go into this uh, we've done some things to be able to autofill and to, to give you some some options as opposed to filling everything out here. Conducted by name is auto populated. Uh, you'll also notice that the observer name and the distraction monitor these are now drop downs that you can uh, either use your search here and throw in uh, a name or an employee number or you can scroll and you can do that for either one of those. Um, also if we scroll on down you'll notice that uh, other involved in making jumper procedure it's auto filled uh, the rest of your crew in there so all you have to do is grab signatures. All of this will be included on your final PDF. So when I've completed that, I'm going to hit my close button, top left hand side. And let's move on to the uh, delays and daily task. And when I go into here, you'll see that we have uh, made some changes. Hopefully the redesign makes it flow a little bit easier for you. You'll notice that we have removed the drop down menu on your daily tasks. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, at least one daily task is required to be able to, to submit. Same deal with the justifiable delays and the pike cause delays. If I do a no, you get to move on. If I do a yes, it's going to want a little more information from you. Um, under the daily tasks, if I choose polls and I put a value in there, wire, um, that, that's uh, quantity in feet. Um, so Again, hopefully this is something you'll be able to blow through pretty quickly. So one final note, guys. Um, if you go to your images um, and if there is something that you need to add, such as like a switching procedure, um, remember that you can always just take a picture of the document 
uh, and stick it under your images and then it will attach the job briefing. Um, so that works as well. And with that, we'll wrap this up. Hopefully I didn't take up too much of your time, but you're a little more comfortable with the changes that we've implemented uh, within the job briefing app. Um, again, we're listening to your feedback and, and always trying to make these apps a little bit easier for you. Um, if you have any questions, as always, contact us, contact the help desk, and um, guys be safe out there. Thanks again for everything you guys do.